Hello everyone, I am Dr. Angshuman. I am the Vice President for Cyberbox. It is one of the largest e-grocery platform in Indonesia. I head all the data teams there, including data science, data engineering, and business intelligence. Before Cyberbox, I worked for Disney, Sony, Target, Grab, and few other companies. Today, I had a very interesting talk at Cypher, the largest analytics conference in India. The topic of my talk was how we can use data science, AI, and data-driven approach for improving the customer experience. There are some big challenges in the traditional customer experience where we don't capture the voice of all the customers. It is reactive. We cannot link it to marketing ROI, and it is probably not very data-driven, right? Hence, we are proposing a data-driven approach to CX, for which the first and most important is the data foundation, where we gather all the customer data, put it in a data lake, data warehouse. Then once we do that, we can follow that four-step process of analytics uh, suggested by Gartner. First, we can do descriptive analytics to understand what happened in the past. Then we can do diagnostic to find out why something happened, what are the factors behind it. Then we can go to the predicting the future, where you can use a lot of machine learning. And in my talk, I use the use case of churn prediction for pre predictive analytics. And finally, for prescriptive analytics, I also shared a very interesting use case which is our recommendation, which is omnipresent nowadays, from Facebook feed to LinkedIn feed to YouTube recommendation to Amazon recommendation to Netflix movie recommendation. We are getting personalized recommendation across the platform. So I discussed how that can be also used to enhance the customer experience. OK, so AI is a very broad field, and it is emerging very fast. And definitely, there are some interesting trends that I am seeing. So first, and one of the most important factor is that the importance of data engineering, right? So when few years back, people started to move to AI, they focused a lot on data science and machine learning. And then they realized that, hey, I just create a prototype model with small data. That's not enough to do production implementation, right? You have to have a proper data pipeline. You have to have a production ready system. And that is where data engineering and ML ops becomes very critical. So I think that trend is going to continue. Second important thing, trend that which has been there for quite some time and probably will get bigger, is the move towards the cloud. So earlier, a lot of people were using desktop software right, and working on their desktop or laptop. Now most of the companies are moving towards cloud. So be it AWS, be it Google Cloud, be it uh, Microsoft Azure, move to cloud is becoming a very big move. And third, and the last uh, key trend that I'm seeing is actually a continuation of an older trend, but in a bigger way. So we saw movement towards open source software like R and Python, and that is going to get bigger. And not just in terms of R and Python, there are more packages, libraries, and tools coming, which are open source. So you don't have to pay much money to use this system. Many a times, they are completely free. So move towards this open source is another key trend. So in summary, in Increasing importance of data engineering and MLOps. Number two, the move towards cloud. And number three, use of more of open source software and tool are the key, three key trends that I'm seeing. So yeah, I think there are a few challenges which are uh, very important. I think first challenge is related to the uh, linking implementing the system or the model in the production, right? That is the first and most important challenge. That's what I said, data engineering and MLOps also becomes important. Number two key challenge is linking it to mar marketing or company ROI, right? Because if you are creating a data science model, sometimes data science people are more focused on the technicalities or the model itself, right? So how do you link it to the business impact than ROI? That is a key, the number two key challenge. And number three is, of course, lack of quality talent, right? So there are few people who are very good in this field, but very few, and they're probably already being paid a lot of money. So if you don't have a very high budget, getting good quality talent is becoming another key challenge. OK, Cypher experience was uh, awesome, right? I am also part of AIM Leaders Council, and we had another conference some time back. And I got to know about Cypher. Uh, this year, back then, and I think last couple of years we could not do the offline because of pandemic and virtual environment. This year it is uh, physical, 
here i could see probably thousands of people have come for the conference i had my talk in the morning session and there's so many people attended it there are a lot of interesting questions the organizers are fantastic so i thank vaskar kashyap <coughs> analytics india magazine for organizing this great event